Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just feel the urgency to come on here and talk to you all about something the Lord keeps bringing to my memory and reminding me of, and I just feel the urgency that I need to share this with all of you. Several years back, I, the Lord had given me what I believe was a rapture dream and a, a warning at the same time. In I shared this dream <clears throat> several years back, but I'll just recap what had happened in this dream. So I was in my house and I was holding a child in my arms on my hip. I, I don't know who it was. I didn't look at who I was holding, but I was holding a child in my arms. And I was looking out the side window of my house and I saw dark clouds in the sky and they were moving in a circular motion and they were rolling back like a scroll and in the center I saw a light coming out of the middle and as I was seeing this happening I was yelling uh, so loud out to everybody in my house and saying he's here it's time come on let's go Jesus is here we have to go the urgency I was I was yelling like we got to go it's time and i and then i went to my back door and i was looking out my back door and i didn't see my backyard or the house behind instead the scenery looked um have heavenly i guess where you could say i saw pillars and raised up flower beds but it looked like they were in marble and i saw palm trees it was really beautiful and I saw in the distance stairs going up and I saw Jesus and he was surrounded by angels and he was wearing a red robe and from the distance he looked really small but I knew it was him and I was holding this child in my arms and I was going to walk toward him because I knew it was time to go and when I looked back my daughter Emily was standing there and she wasn't coming with me. And I said, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. It's time to go. And she just kept standing there by the door and shaking her head, no. And and then I said to her, do what you have to do so you can go. And then I turned around and I went to go towards Jesus and leave. And then I woke up from this dream. And I told Emily about it and several months or so, give or take, later she came up to me and she said, Mom, I know why he gave you that dream. And I said, okay, why? What was it about? And she said, I had to repent. I had to repent of sin. And that's why I couldn't go. I wasn't able to go because I still had sin I needed to repent of. And I'm like, oh, well, then that's really <laughs> important to know that. And so I just feel like the Lord keeps bringing this dream to my memory is because the warning is still the same that people need to repent of their sins. And I feel the urgency that he is coming at any moment to take us home and we need to be ready and we don't want to be like my daughter in that dream where you're left behind because you have unrepented sins. The urgency is there just as much as with all the other messages that I do share on this channel from Julie and Crystal and Glinda and other, you know, words that the Lord has given me to share with everybody. The main major warning here is to repent of sins. And this is very, very important. So I just felt like I needed to come on here and share this uh, message and warning because we are coming so very close to the time where people are running out of time to repent. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with all of you. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.